This video was brought to you by this comment. Okay, just a quick video on Tether because it turns out that Tether actually received a nice little hot fix, a nice little bug fix that made it so that it finally latches on to a maximum of 10 targets. Because of that, it's actually capable of drawing 10 targets in really, really quickly, which does make it a lot more powerful in bringing enemies together so that something like Seeker Volley can become really, really effective. Now, because Seeker Volley actually is an AoE ability if the ships are close enough to each other for every single missile, by using Tether along with Seeker Volley, it does become a very potent combo. The Seeker Volley also gets to take advantage of what appears to be some lowered armor for enemy fighters and also enemy cruise ships as well, although you don't really want to be using your Seeker Volley against a cruise ship, obviously. But basically, that appears to be the case. Also, the explosion that comes from Tether if you decide to shoot the actual Tether Ball will obviously affect up to 10 enemies that are latched onto the Tether as well as anyone who happens to be nearby. So that remains to be about as effective as when I did the Tether video, possibly slightly more effective because again, I am noticing that enemies might have a little less armor. I'm not 100% sure about that. But overall, that's the idea. So. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. If you have any questions about the Tether and Seeker Volley combo, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Uh, I guess a quick side note, final thought is that in terms of flux energy usage, I don't know, I feel like going for a Void Hole and Particle Ram combo is still a little bit more energy efficient, uh, but you know, that's entirely up to you. Using a Tether plus Seeker Volley combo is kind of the same, well it's actually exactly the same energy investment as using the Void Hole Shadow Burst combo, so I kind of stopped doing that for the last, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks now, uh, simply because, I don't know, maybe the energy cost of that is a little bit too high. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, if you liked this video hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching. Bye.